Okay, so I'd like to um, revisit this question of play that was uh, brought up in class last time, particularly in relation to Lanham's, the, the digital rhetoric and digital arts uh, piece of the electronic word textbook that we, um, the section we read for class. Um, because I wasn't sure how to respond, and I thought my response in class was perhaps a bit rushed and um, didn't adequately give the kind of weight to the question that I, that I think I should have. So um, I went back through the text and sort of try to piece out some of the things that Lanham was attempting to say. Um, and basically what I've come up with is to thinking about his approach to play in uh, three different um, ways, sort of how it gets presented throughout the text, at least early in this book. The three ways are play as a type of engagement, um, play as a writer or reader practice, and then uh, play as expression or experience. And I'll sort of talk about them in a little bit to each, uh, quickly, hopefully. Um, just to give you some, uh, maybe a better grounding. So those are the three ways I think he, he, he approaches play, um, even though he uses the term um, often very um, conflatingly, is that a word? Um, he uses the term in a number of ways. The first one area I sort of look at would be a Lanham's use of play as a type of engagement. And um, here again, play for Lanham is not meant in any sort of like clearly defined sense. It's not like he's pulling from Wysinga's notions of play, characteristics of play, or, or Kaiwa's revisiting those things, or um, the work of Brian Sutton Smith or any of these folks uh, that have come along since then to really sort of articulate what play means and what games mean. But for Lanham, it's a kind of uh, play, uh, generally speaking, in terms of, um, in this case, let's say a type of engagement. It's one way he thinks about it. Um, this type of engagement comes specifically from the postmodern aesthetic and, and for him, the postmodern critique, right, which sort of pulls an attention to the art object itself, the creation, and the beholder, and the situation the beholder finds himself in or herself in. Like, it's this sort of critical awareness of the entirety of the convention and the practice and the cultural values and the social structures that support that dynamic. I mean, Christo's Running Fence is one of his great examples that attempts to draw attention not to the object itself, but rather to the, the systems uh, and the engagement that is around that object. Uh, he uses Marinetti's work in terms of, um, thanks Marinetti, right, in terms of the the, the typo typographical play, um, and, and a number of other folks um, that he points to. But all of them are suggesting the same thing, and that is a shift for, for, for Lanham from the seriousness, right, of text and the purpose-driven nature of text, how we experience text, particularly printed text, right, alphabetic text, and the um, sort of playful uh, engagement offered by electronic text, and then it's a shift from, let's say, purpose-driven orientations to game and play. Um, and that there's an oscillation between this kind of um, purpose and play dynamic in electronic spaces uh, that's driven by the kind of hybrid nature, that playful vibration between those two, and not specifically succumbing to the, um, the through aesthetic, if you will, the through consideration, or what Bolton Grusin would call like the drive of immediacy, right? It's uh, that it has to have both, and it has to have that oscillation, um, as opposed to just the singular focus on, on a facing itself. And that there's a play in that nature, and um, and it's 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 that the engagements with which we approach this material is in fact playful, I and mean, we expect a kind of playfulness with them. The um, sort of second, well, even the related one, which we might think about play as an experience, because it's still the same kind of engagement. We might think of engagement in the earlier version as a kind of attitude toward. The, the text or the creation of the media. Right? But play as a, an expression or experience is sort of one of the other main areas that Lanham sort of uses the term play. Um, particularly, this goes back against the postmodern aesthetic. It's a play with convention, a play with culture, a play with practice and space. You know, he uses Duchamp's um, uh, fountain or ur urinal, right? But specifically, also, it's a, an attempt to play with perception. That it's you create um, an expression in such a way to play with how people understand perspective. And, per, and the ways in which we perceive things, um, and that that's an intentionality uh, from the how we express things, right? and the expressions in digital text, digital media, um, whichever the case may be. Um, and then for Lanham, this again goes back to how we have an, the attitudes we take towards text, or e-text, as he uses the term e-text a lot. Um, is it serious? Is it playful? What are its conventions? What are its, uh, where is its place, its, its, its structure? But there's also a relationship here between a kind of playfulness, right, that he talks about in the act of, of this engagement, this experience, um, between the material or the medium, the author and the audience. And there's a, the play across those three things, author as producing something in relation to the medium, and author as producing something for an audience who's going to experience it as, let's say, 
maybe less purpose driven, but and more um, as a, a kind of experiential moment. Um, and we'll talk about this stuff a little bit with Nathan Shedroff's work on experience design, and even Bolter and Gromola's work in Windows and Mirrors. But the uh, the idea being that right, this is the sort of the the, the core shift from the serious purpose driven functional clarity, brevity, sincerity dynamic of text to the sort of playful gameplay dynamics, um, less, maybe less clear, um, comic even, uh, nature of e-text and how it invites a kind of uh, playful engagement from readers um, almost to the point that the aesthetic and rhetorical qualities of electronic media is a certain kind of expectation of, of play as an attitude or uh, an approach. So one of the uh, other things that I think that's important to the way Lanham talks about play is play is a kind of authorial or writerly practice. Um, he, he says that you know computer aided design these days sort of has a is deeply playful in the kinds of effort that it calls forth, um, and I think this is something that I hold true to in my own class. And I think play is an active learning strategy for how you develop technology skill sets, but also that that what is wanting with digital media is a kind of playful engagement. And the reason why this is, and Lanham sort of outlines this in his uses of play is that there's a kind of willingness and an even readily ability to make mistakes with digital media um, in in a way that previous technologies didn't allow mistakes to happen with any sort of well sorry they allowed for mistakes to happen but they didn't encourage it because of the labor-intensive process of fixing mistakes right digital technologies kind of um, champion you're making errors you're making mistakes you're playing with the algorithms and the processes because they're so easy to, to fix to undo right to copy and paste to redo um, and so there's a kind of playful engagement as an author um, in the ways in which we work with technology additionally and this is one of my favorite things Lanham says he says that play is is as natural uh, to electronic text as it is to rhetoric and here we might think about the the play of language and the play of words but also play as an active part of rhetorical development instruction, right? And, and sort of classic tradition, um, you know, in the Greek and, and, and even later in uh, the Roman and the Latin traditions, that the ways in which we engage in these sort of practice exercises and, and preparations. Um, but but the play as an act of uh, authorial practice seems to me to be different than play as a type of experience from the reader and the expectation, but also play as a type of engagement from the reader and those are highly related to experience and engagement I, I, I sort of I part off of them as three different pieces and I'm not um, exactly sure how cleanly those distinctions are it just seems that the play as a type of engagement deals with attitudes and, uh, and expectations from the postmodern aesthetic and play as a type of experience deals with the expectations we have when coming to electronic text um, and that's sort of where I would draw a line if I had to but this is one of those places where drawing a line seems to be um, inherently problematic. So those two along with the author practice to me seems to be the framework by which Lanham is working uh, in relation to to this idea of play as it manifests in um, digital rhetoric and the digital arts and electronic text.